Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out level five, Isla de Muerta Story Walkthrough, or Isla de Muerta. I'm probably slaughtering that. Either way, it's for Lego Pirates of the Caribbean. And we do pick up the Curse of the Black Pearl trophy slash achievement at the end for completing the first movie. And we do find one compass item. And if you're looking for compass or mini kit items, make sure that you check out our free play series, which is actually dedicated to just that, uh, the items that you're after. And then we'll also have a few other trophy slash achievement videos for any of the cleanup. So here we go. The final chapter of the first film. And we can see here we uh, got Elizabeth wearing a red coat. And we've got Jack spying on some treasure because, you know, he's always after that booty. That pirate treasure. And, oh, uh, yeah, we don't want to bother him, huh? Leave me alone while I'm cleaning my room. <laughs> some of you have seen scary movies, some of you haven't. So, yeah, buddy. All right. Uh, here in just a second, we're going to get going. And right off the bat, we are going to head on over and uh, use the sword of Jack Sparrow to, uh, well, we'll see. Sharky, psych. Love it. My son loves it too. He's into sharks. It was just Shark Week as of uh, this recording, so that's pretty awesome. There it is, right there. Booyaka Shao will bust him up. Shark slaying Jack Sparrow. All right, so we're gonna uh, check out a bunch of studs and make our way on over. And like I said, we'll use Jack's sword to pry open the uh, bridge. Here we go. Booyaka Shao. Climb across. Steady but surely. And there is the first of what appears to be four parrots. We will not be getting the rest of them because, again, we're saving all the mini kits for our free play series. We've actually recorded all of the story mode, and yes, we have successfully made it all the way through without picking up one mini kit. So we will have all of them in our series, whereas the last few series, and maybe in future series, you can't always get it that way. So it was nice to be able to get them all. So if you need a need a hand getting through the level, we got the story modes for you. And if you just need those items, we have the free play. All right. So as you can see, we grab the wheel, we move the wheel to where the arrow indicated. Which then, once we gave it a quick spin, it twisted around and allowed Jack Sparrow to get to a secret area. Well, not really. Just moved a bridge so we could come across. Then we'll go ahead and switch to Eliz Elizabeth. And what's up, DJ Howley, A.K.A. the uh, well. He's got a man of many titles. He's the co-owner co founder of Urgent Fury as well as community manager of Soft Studios now. God, I had to think about it for a second and make sure I said the title right. All right, backing up just one step. As you can see, once we got double jumped over there with Elizabeth, both Jack and Elizabeth jumped up, grabbed the rocks, and dropped the rocks like it was hot. Not to be confused with Snoop Dogg's hit single a few years back. And uh, here's where we get to our first moment of really battling the, the baddies who can only be dealt with in the light. So it's, uh, it's interesting. You can only kill them when they're in their skeleton form, which is under the moonlight. So make sure that they are under the moonlight. And you can see once we kill them all too, they dropped a few bones for us. And we will use those to build them up and find something special. Speaking of something special, you can see there's something glowing on the ground over there. We couldn't help but go and pick it up, which we do here in a second. And it turns out to be an old hat or helmet, something. A bat hat. What up? I'm sure there's some sort of significance that I'm missing, but I've missed it. And when you press the lever there that opens up the other tomb, it drops another hat. Looks like something like, uh, you know, what's her name? Cleopatra or something or other. You guys might have heard of her. All right, once it's all clear, go ahead and use those bones to build the steering wheel. And fire that puppy up. Spin to win, baby. Spin to win. Yeah, big money, big money, no whammies. All right, well, no whammies. No big money, though. What it did do is open the bridge for us to allow one of our characters to cross. The AI is smart enough, and hopefully... Hey, what are you doing there? It got dark in here, didn't it? Thumby isn't happy with how dark it got, so we'll go ahead and grab this torch. And we'll switch back to our other character. Or if you're playing co-op, make sure that, uh, you know, one guy stays over there. And you don't both run across. Make sure you bring the torch with your other guy, because you will need to light the cannon. And 
Booyaka Shao. Whoop. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. Booyaka Shao. And. Booyaka Shao! Alright, so the wall will come tumbling. And this is nice because it creates a nice little path for us. Look how smooth and awesome that is. It's perfect. We'll take it. And make sure you're grabbing all the studs along the way because there is a definite possibility that you could get the true pirate on this one. We do, so we assume you should have no problem with it either. Here we go. We got a gold reflector. We'll go ahead and put that on the top of the thingy bobby there that was the arrow shining. Some sort of a lever mechanism system, and we'll uh, use that to push it and bend some more light, which will magically appear here in a second. We're going to use our compass a couple times. And once you find the first item, we'll dig it up. There's a couple spades laying around, so if you need one, feel free to swoop it up. There's also another gold reflector. We'll pick that up and put it on this guy. The goal here is up in the top right corner, you can see there's a golden skull. Here in a second, once that light comes in, which it doesn't magically appear, we make it appear, but once it does come in, we bend it and we blast that gold skull. So we use the compass to find a pile of bricks. We'll build those bricks up and we will stuff them right where the arrow tells us to. And lo and behold, booyah, kashow, we now have light. We'll bend it, and because we guessed the right angle, we got it. He might have to move the other one. Maybe not. Maybe you had it better. Maybe you had it all lined up, didn't have to push nothing. But it will open up a passageway, and we will keep on keeping on through that. And it'll bring us to a cutscene. Look at Will. He's just hanging out. What up, yo? Yeah, nice catch. Love how Jack's always got a plan, and it's usually to benefit himself. But, you know, he is a pirate, right? I've been to Disneyland. I know what a pirate's life's like. Ooh, look at that. Sneaky. Stole a coin. We all know what that means, right? If you don't, you're in for a big surprise. He was peeping it out, <laughs> literally. All right, so essentially after this cutscene, we're going to find ourselves in kind of a, a battle, so to speak. And there's a couple sequences. Look at that, yeah, heartthrob. Little did he know. A couple of dudes. And this this part in the movie was super cool, too. Mobbing underwater. Dum, dum, da, dum, dum. Let's get out of here. Row, row, row your boats. All right, now back to the villain, Butterbosa. Oh no, you stabbed Jack. He's dead. Psych. He stole the treasure and is now one of us, or one of them, whichever side you're playing on. And boom, now we got control. So here we go. As you can see, we've got uh, some issues, and we got some guys fighting us. We'll need to bring the little guys into the light to fight them while Barbosa actually has to be uh, attacked while in the darkness. So, kind of a tricky scenario here. We'll bust everything up and we'll leave a couple items out. Boom. Get him. See, now you can see the hearts. You can always tell when they're red, he's penetrable. <laughs> and when they're silver, he is impenetrable. Must be yelling at the safe word. Shish kebab. I don't know what it is, but so you can see, uh, running, running into the dark, and so once you hit him, he takes off. You can't. Well, you can get up there, but it's not worth it. So you got to take these guys, and these guys you actually have to fight in the light. So make sure you drag them in. What I was, what I tried to do, anyways, was get them so that they came up behind me, and being behind me was in the light. It worked out okay until this last dude. So you can see once, if you knock them down in the darkness, they respawn, which he'll do it again. So let's try this third time's a charm, maybe, huh? Uh -huh. Yep, so I jumped over him and kind of worked him into the light. <laughs> but it still didn't work, so we'll get him a little deeper. Oh, snarf. Boom, a little slow-mo action. You see that? It almost looked like it was, cha-cha, finish him. All right, so once you kill all of those baddies, they will leave a pile of bones again. This time, damn bones, damn bones make a bear roll. So roll them bones on over. All right, there you go. You know this one. 
Just keep spinning. Just keep spinning. When you do, you're raising the ground, which is going to allow you to actually get up to the final area. But then Barbosa will run around again, and we can go and take some cheap shots at him with this giant mask on it. I Again, I have no idea what's up with this. I think it's just extra fun, like cosplay type stuff. But once you strike him down in the darkness, he runs off again, and another wave of baddies will attack you. So this is just kind of a rinse and repeat moment, as in most video game culture. Three is the magic number. So here comes wave two. And we'll bring them into the light so we can make some, some baddies turn into bones. Well, that has more than one meaning, I suppose. Yeah, come on over here. The moonlight's nice. Cha cha cha. Ooh, that didn't feel good. All right, now I got him in there. Taking him down. Last dude, booyah. All right, so now there's some bones. We'll build them bones up, and look at that. It'll bring the other part of the bridge. Well, actually, it's a counterweight. Not a bridge. I was wrong. And then now we get uh, another chance to take out Barbosa. But before too long, we get another wave of baddies. Where are you at, foo? Where are you at? That's right, we gotta throw the hatchet up top, huh? Alright, so we're gonna switch to Will Turner and we gotta hit the target. And once we do that, I don't know, for some reason I had issues hitting it. There we go. So that'll spin and it'll actually allow us to jump up. Don't fear, it goes up and down. Oopsie downsies. Run all the way across, smashing everything in your path. And once you get up top, push in both of the, uh, I guess, boxes? Not sure what to label those, but they are definitely on the tile sliders, so we'll slide them in. Oop. Light came on, and look at that. Phase two, lift it up. Good to go. All right, so head back on over and take another swipe at Barbosa in the dark. He's going to run to the moonlight, but we'll knock him out. He's got some good moves. I like your moves, Barbosa. All right. Third heart down, and he's out. Now we know the next wave is coming, and you guessed it. Got to have him in the light to take him down. Any minute now, here they come, and there we go. True pirate. We'll take it. And bring it, buddies. Bring it. Try to knock him into the light to finish him off. Try not to die along the way. I thought for sure I was going to lose my true pirate there, but I looked out. And once they're all gone, we can use the bones to finish building up the wall up there. Which, there we go. There we go. Now we can scale the wall and get up there, and you guessed it, trigger the final area get up top but in order to do so we have to drop down and we whoops yeah, you weren't supposed to miss that jump so we'll go ahead and jump back up there with old Jack we thought about making an edit there but it would have looked funny like climbing up there as will and then dropping down as Jack you know what I mean all right so you know the drill push both the sliding boxes in and that'll cue the third and final stump We'll go ahead and jump on the, the rock, as indicated by the arrow here, to follow it all the way up top. And there's Barbosa. We'll throw a couple of sword throws at him and get him into the darkness, which will then get him down to two hearts. And guess what? You got to keep going. This time he doesn't run. And that's because he has nowhere to run to. So once you take him all the way down, gives a nice little cut scene here. But it ain't over yet, people, so don't put the controller down yet. See a little action going on out on the boat? Fire! That doesn't look friendly. It's all right, though. Back in the tunnel, we can see all the treasures been put back, and they are now all officially uncursed. Yay. But wait a minute. Before he gets to take a bite of that luscious apple, eh, we're going to go ahead and strike down with vengeance and make sure that he doesn't ever get to taste it. So... All right, the rocks fall, and we are going to start running and chasing Barbosa here. 
Basically, you smash everything in your path that you feel like hanging out for. If you don't have true pirate yet, we already have true pirate, so it's kind of overkill. We're trying to resist, but grab the blues, grab the blues. Just follow, watch out for the spikes. The spikes will hurt you. Definitely, yep. Yeah. Try to stay off to the side with the least amount of distance between jumps. And there's plenty of blues along the way to make sure that you stay at that true pirate status. Now, here we go. Now we're actually fighting Barbosa for the final time. This is the end scene right here. This is the last thing we have to do before film one is over. And what you need to do is you actually need to go over and grab one of them coconuts. And you have to throw it at Barbosa. Once he is all cuckooed, the monkey will jump on you. And you got to use one of the other characters to go and take out Barbosa. So... Then rinse and repeat, you know, until we get him down. So throw the coconut and then go right there. I got lucky and I got to hit him right away. But now I'm getting jumped on by that monkey. Got a monkey on my back, fool. Got a monkey on my back. Grab a coconut, knock him out. And just rinse and repeat. Two hearts left, so we'll grab another one. And we'll throw it. Boom. Boom. The old jump and slam. Oh, come on. Grab another one. Wait for it. Grab it, and booyah kashow. That'll kill the final cutscene of this film and for this video. We don't know what's going on. Of course, Jack's trying to run out with some treasure. Nope, nope, not going to happen. Nice try, Captain. Oh, poor pirate. They got captured. They lost their captain. Oh, what a bad day for these pirates. All right, well, it's clear that Elizabeth is in love, but has to go with the other dude. Yeah. <laughs> That's not right. And Jack is arrested yet again. All right, that'll wrap up the end of film one. We do get Elizabeth in the red coat edition. And Buika Shao, the curse of the Black Pearl trophy slash achievement for completing the first film. Feels good. You can see we're getting our stud total up there. We, our first purchase is not a character. It's actually a red hat that is the two times multiplier, which we don't get till uh, the end of the next film. We get it right before the fifth chapter of film two. And we'll show you how to do it and where it is and all that fun stuff. But that's going to go ahead and wrap up Lego Pirates of the Caribbean level five. Uh... Isla de Muerta, I guess. Isla de Muerta. I get so much harassment for saying things incorrectly. I feel like I need to go and try to look that up before I do this. But oh well, who cares? You can tell me down below if it's Isla or Isla or if it even matters to you. And uh, you can do that at our Facebook, our Twitter, or in our YouTube account. Make sure you subscribe and vote. Uh, vote meaning thumb up or thumb down. We've got a thumb, thumb down bandit out there, so make sure you give us a like if you feel we helped you. And happythumbsgaming.com is there. It's actually where you can find out how to get your own Lego likeness like you see there in the corner. So you got some pictures of yourself. You want to send them out to this artist. This artist will handle it for you. So anyways, all that info is on our website. And that's going to wrap it up. So until next time.